Michael here from uh, M&M uh, Model Railways and uh, I'm the uh, first half of the M&M. And, &M. and uh, in this video, my friends, we're going to be checking out how I built a uh, curved uh, steel girded bridge plus the straight steel girded bridge. And that would might benefit you if you're thinking about how you could build your own curved bridge. Um, check out this uh, video right now. A little bit of a short video to uh, start this uh, step off. I'm actually making the uh, curved bridge. And uh, as you can tell, I've actually um, did the rounded edge. And I'll actually, on video, I'll show you how I will do that inside edge. But the first step is to get this to form around the circle. And I'll show you how I did that and what kind of wood I used for it. But uh, ultimately, uh, you have to soak that wood in the bathtub uh, for 20, 30 minutes to get the wood to conform around to it. And it has to be clamped down. I used the clamps on the edges because they were they had a tendency to try to pull, um, pull apart on me and I wanted them to be solid. And so, as you can tell, they're solid. The nails are in there to hold the individual um, rows. And when I'm done with it, uh, I'll be adding uh, uprights to show uh, a steel girdered bridge. And uh, I'll, I'll show all this, uh, the steps on how I'm doing this other side here, the inside, in a video so you guys can see that. So thanks for watching this part, and we'll be back with uh, part two on this uh, curved bridge. Let me show you real quick where this curved bridge goes. Well, as you can tell, uh, this is the the east end of our wraparound and uh, you can see that curve right there so i just put that in place just to have it a place to go so that's where the bridge goes i made these uh, nice little uh pier blocks to mount the bridge on so it has some security to hold it uh, across the river so i'll show you how that works as i uh lay this piece in there and as you can tell they're supporting pretty good. And uh, if you look at it from this side over here, you can see what that looks like, but it's gonna look even better with that bridge on it. I'll be building another bridge uh, here where this level is, and another bridge going across there into a tunnel that you can see right there. That's all coming up uh, in the bridge building step. Well, I wanted to show you uh, kind of what I'm doing now. I uh, um, let those pieces set with the water on them and as you can tell they have a little bit of a flex to them now but not enough to hold that curve so what I've done is I've actually glued that inside piece I know it's a little long but I'll cut that off and then uh, of course I pinned it down and then I clamped it and then uh, these here uh, actually go one on top with the little spacers in them as you can tell right there, um, that forms uh, the steel frame on each side of it. So it'll kind of look like that with little spacers in between it. I'll show you that in a little bit, but uh, like I said, you gotta let that glue set. I actually made a, uh, a straight bit bridge that looks like this. Let me show you that one. And there's the little straight one. I already have it glued and it's actually gonna set uh, between these red lines over this river. So as you can tell, I have uh, the two side pieces uh, cut to go on each side. So it's like uh, these would go on this side and these will go on this side. So if you can imagine if I cut these down and put them inside there like that and put them in between there, they'll go uh, and make a uh, nice uh, pattern in there you kind of see how I got that started but I've got to make that float into that space right there so I'll be back to show you what I did there and here you can see how I uh, have it doubled up in there you can't really see all of that and you remember I was going to show you how I was going to do the inside that's how I did it I formed the uh, the wood to the outside of it and so when I get some more of that wood I will uh, put it to the outside let me show you uh, what the uh, 
straight bridge looks like. Well, there's the straight bridge with the side pieces on there. And I just glued that down so I'm not going to take it apart yet. But you can see how it uh, is starting to take shape around there. Let's look at this side of it. You can tell it's got those uh, boards in there now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a, uh, sorry about my fingers, I'm going to set one of my end scale locomotives down on there. And you can tell that that bridge actually is a pretty good bridge um, height for that. So you'll see um, what that looks like in the next uh, stage as well as the, the curved bridge. Well, as you can tell, uh, things are taking place uh, and uh, improving here on uh, M&M Railways uh, model train layout. And as you can tell, I've got the uh, little bridge done. That cardboard one is a template to the bridges that my wife are making for the uh, car roads that will um, go by here. But as you can tell, I also have half of the uh, steel girder done on the... Uh, the curved bridge. Let me show this uh, to you a little bit. Uh, as you can tell, there's uh, uh, steel girders um, that shows the framework. So that uh, sets in there uh, just like so on my train layout. And I'll uh, do the landscaping and finish it off and then the uh, track will go by there and then we'll put some ballast in there. So the next step is to paint that little bridge um, black. We'll do that here in just a minute. And then I'm gonna be uh, dry brushing some rust color on the sides of it. And uh, you can get an idea what this uh, um, bridge looks like in here. And I have not uh, got enough wood yet to do that side, but uh, that's a, a view down into it. So uh, let's go and uh, throw some paint on this br little bridge here so you can see what it looks like coming right up. I'm basically using some Rust-Oleum for, uh, you can see, wood, metal, plastic, and more. This color is actually uh, Canyon Black. You can see it right there. So being that it's in a canyon, I thought that looked pretty good. So let's uh, do this one-handed. Down there and get the bridge girder done. Not too worried about uh, that inside glue because it'll be covered with uh, ballast. When that dries, we'll uh, come and we'll turn it over and we'll paint the uh, bottom side of it. So that looks uh, pretty cool. If I zoom in here, maybe you can see the uh, um, girders, maybe not. But anyway, that's what it looked like. Well, I finally got the uh, bridge girder on the uh, curved bridge. There you can see it just finished out. Here's the uh, other side of it. Looks pretty cool. Got some uh, plastering done and did some work underneath the way out. There'll be a highway coming through there. Added that two inch spacer back there because I'm going to put Two more inches of foam back there. So now I'm going to paint this so it matches this little bridge here. And as you can tell, that girder looks pretty cool. Put some uh, rust effects on there with some magnetic uh, shine uh, rust oleum. So some acrylic paints that I had that uh, 
of rust coloring it. Let's try to get a little bit more. There you go. All right, let's uh, paint that uh, bridge and uh, we'll do some more plastering here. Now I basically want to show you how I'm going to do a, uh, a rust concept to this bridge. This is a black uh, steel girdered bridge and as you can tell there it has uh, um, a girder bridge on each side of it. So basically what I do is I have found some metallic copper in uh, acrylic paints. You can see that right there, metallic copper. And I want to do a uh, dry brushing. So basically I'm going to put shake it up a little bit, put a little of this metallic copper in my paint dish and basically I'm just going to wipe it off and then I'm going to take and uh, paint some highlights on here. So just wipe it off so you don't get a whole gob on there. Basically, you don't want to do the whole thing, just uh, bits and pieces, uh, hit and miss areas. And like, like I said, wipe that, uh, wipe that um, off. Just hit and miss areas, turn your brush around. Puts a nice little sheen on there. This is the inside, less noticeable than the outside. But again, just put some on there, wipe it off on your towel. And it doesn't take very much because it's called a dry brushing. And as you can tell, it leaves a uh, hint that there's rust on this bridge and then I just go along the edge of the top of it do the same thing just make it look like there's rust hit and take here and there <clears throat> and then you're just gonna basically follow the same thing on the outside of this like I said most of your rust colored paint off which is just a metallic copper metallic copper will make it shine and make it look like it's it's a metal bridge See, it's still girded bridge and you just want to just touch areas to you don't want to do I want to paint the whole thing. I want that black to show through there. Just fast, hit and miss, hit and miss. Wipe it, brush it. It gives it some. Uh, this is weathering. It's, uh, we don't know how long this bridge has been up there. Maybe it's been up there 50 years. It's rustic, so we want to make it look rustic. Just keep uh, painting your uh, copper. Dab it, wipe it off. Maybe a little darker in some places where it's uh, more pronounced, 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 pronounced more prevalent, I guess is the right word. Maybe a little bit more along the edge. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. You can see that in the camera there. Now let me put a little dab on the top here. Put this down so kind of see what I'm doing here a little bit. So again, dry it. I 
<clears throat> and being this uh, steel girder bridge is also on the inside of it, this upper part is going to be covered with ballast, but I'm going to take and uh, do a, just little up shoots. So it's like the uh, um, the rain got down on the sides of it, and that's the path that it's following. Like I said, you try to wipe most of it off. <clears throat> and you can see that it's got little streaks of rust coming up on it now. Always go up and down with it. Don't go don't go sideways because this is uh representing uh streaks of rain. Streaks of rain that uh, might have got down in there and started rusting out that steel bridge. Doesn't take a whole lot of it to indicate that. You do too much, then you <clears throat> lose your effect. Again, dry brush, you don't want a whole lot. Let's uh, paint this side here. And just run it up and down. No matter if it gets down on that the bed itself, that's going to be covered up with ballast. Always wipe it off. like uh, rain got down there and started rock rocking that on. Now they can do a little bit of streaks uh, on the bottom of it because maybe it uh, water puddled up down there and didn't have no way to outlet itself. Like I said the boss is going to cover up the majority of this. So that's it, my friends. That looks pretty good. Looks like it's uh, been weathered pretty good. So my friends, that's how we do the um, the rust, like the rain ran down it and it started rusting out. My friends, thank you for watching. Let me show you where this is all gonna go. Well, here is the uh, curved bridge. I think that looks pretty cool. Here's the other side of it. We already did a little bit underneath there. There's the straight bridge as you can tell. Sorry that the lighting's not real good but you can see that it's a pretty good size for the end scale locomotive. And I can actually lift up this bridge so we get it all done, show you kind of what's underneath it. We got the embankment done, we put some rock and dirt on there. A little two lane highway is going to go through there. And I can set that back in place. And just to give you a little sneak peek at what else I'm doing, that's a, an irrigation head gate that lets the water into that irrigation ditch. And this one uh, lets it into the stream out of the ditch. Thanks for watching.